Um, knee hugs just in place. Grab the pull. Get loosened up. Get this muted. And get you ready to rock. What's up, Christy Meadows? You can do now. I'm telling you, there you go. Knee hugs with the coffee cup. That's where that's where you live. That's where I live. Are they all? Right on. All right, let's get those toe grabs going. Pull the feet up behind you. A big quad stretch. I don't know about y'all. My legs are kind of sore. I'll make sure we stretch out those hamstrings a little bit too before we get into our five minute warm up here. Let's see, we don't have any comments. I'm gonna pull that down. All right, let's go to that uh, crossover and squat. So just uh, ankle on the knee, squat down. Feel free to pause a little bit if you need to. Vicky, I see you got a barbell in that garage. I can see it on camera. I hope you've been using it. It's good stuff right there. Don't fall down, Carrie. I like how she puts smart, I, I like saying smart tone. All right, let's go into that five minute warm up. We're gonna start out with those prisoner step back lunges. So just like Stephanie's showing you here, pull those elbows back nice and far. So you get a little bit of a stretch across the chest and then drop back, come right back up. Let's get it going. We'll go one minute straight on those. Get those knees ready. Quads ready for our spicy Metcon we got today. Let me pull that up here. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got five three minute rounds. This is going to be good. It's as good as you're willing to make it, as hard as you're willing to work. Vicky, let me know how you're feeling as you go through this stuff. And we can uh, let me know if I need to modify anything. Got Dean in the garage. Annie's in the garage. Let's see, we got one, two, four garages, one bedroom, two living rooms. All right, we're going to go down to the floor, go into hollow body snaps. So where you start out long with the arms above the head, laying flat, and then snap up. And every time you come up, remember, hold for a good second to two seconds. So you should have to squeeze those abs tight and keep them there for a little bit. Got it at your own pace. We're going for one minute. Where is a playlist? Got about seven seconds left on that one. We're going to stay on the ground for the next one. So you'll flip over. We're going slow cross body mountain climbers. So just bringing that knee to the elbow to warm those shoulders up. A little bit of a pause every time you bring that knee towards your chest. You got it. You got it. Let's go all the way across. Remember, nice and slow. I know those shoulders start getting tired when we do this for a full minute. I'm going to challenge you on that. I'll validate it challenge you anyway keep those shoulders tight so they're over top of your elbows elbows over top of the wrists and that butt stays down you got about 14 seconds and then we'll be standing up all right let's go ahead and hop up going right into high knees get those arms pumping knees up light on the toes wake it up there you go. That's it. 
So as you loosen up, try to bring those knees up a little higher. You can see Stephanie's getting them up about as high as her hips. That's what we want to try to get to. Try to loosen your hips up a little bit on the way. About 30 seconds, a little bit more than 30. Good call, Patty. It's nice outside this morning. I thought it was supposed to storm. Like, is it not overnight? All day? Just gonna drink coffee all day. <laughs> 15 seconds, keep rolling. Should be starting to warm up, breathe a little bit. Stephanie, you are tired today. You got up there quick. Might be a good day for a nap. All right, let's go skater jump, side to side, push off. Have you ever heard of a whoop band, like W-H-O-O-P? It tells you like how recovered you are. It just does it based on heart rate variability. It's really interesting. I got a bunch of guys in my mastermind group that have one. But. So once we get to 15 seconds left on these, we're gonna try to get a little more hopping or pushing the pace a little bit more. Still got a little bit of time. Make sure those ankles are ready, toes are ready to go. So we got about 15 seconds left. So if you can push off a little faster, your steps might get a little smaller, that's fine. But start skating faster, let's put it that way. There we go, everybody was game, that's it. Let me all look like you're dancing a little bit. All right, so this is our spicy Metcon for today. And when we get done with this, we have another section we're going to go into. But this one is 20 minutes long. So we're going to go three minutes of work, one minute of rest. And we're going to do that five times. So it's, it's real simple. It's three movements. Sometimes these can be the hardest ones to do when we don't have too many movements to go through. You don't have to do too much thinking. Um, hopefully, everybody has a box or something that they can step up on to use. If you don't, I'm going to give you an um, – body weight option that I just don't have on the screen. So you go five burpees. If you can go chest all the way to the floor with good control through that spine, definitely let's go all the way to the floor. There's our burpee. That's all you need to demonstrate today. We'll do one. Um, then we're going to go into 10 box plyo step ups. I was put a video up on these yesterday. There's a couple different ways you can approach them. You can be really explosive and jump super high and switch feet in the air. That's the tricky part. That's why I don't jump high with it. So see how, see how she naturally doesn't want to switch like I'm the same way. So just go up, just start, get up there and just start alternating. That's it right there. So that's our goal is just to alternate those steps. And on that, we're going to go 10 total. So it's just five each leg. So you can go through those fast, okay? Um, if you do not have a box, we're going to do alternating split jumps. So just stepping back, jumping and switching legs. So it's really a very similar movement pattern. I'm um, just not going up on the box. You would do 10 of those total. Then you'll get your kettlebell out, whatever you got, heavy um, or a dumbbell. And then we're going into 15 swings. So remember, and this is just up to chest height. So it's five, 10, and then 15. That's how we're rolling through it. And you'll go through those three for five, uh, three minutes straight. And then you'll get a one minute break. And we're going to repeat that five times. So if anybody needs any modifications on that, go ahead and throw them in the comments. I'm going to get my clock set up here and we'll get ready to rock. What do we got? We got five rounds, three minutes. Oops. Everybody's good to go who does not have a box. Is that? Vicky, you let me know how this how this feels on that. If anything, we just do the step backs, but don't jump. Like you can do those uh, those split those step back lunges like Stephanie's doing. Just don't jump with it. See how that feels instead of the uh, split jumps. On the swings, if we uh, you know do a high pull, Stephanie. Someone pause this clock real quick. 
So if you need to on the swings, this might feel better, Vicky. So squat down and then pull up instead of doing the kettlebell swing so you don't get that stretch on that, ham, that upper hamstring. All right, we'll get this clock going. We're going to get ready to rock here in 10 seconds. Get ready. This is our spicy circuit for the day. We're going to heat things up a little bit. All right, let's go, let's go. We got our spice up on the screen. There you go, there you go. Keep going, keep going. So you go five burpees and you got 10 of those uh, split jumps or box plyo steps. Vicky, did you do your five burpees? There you go. When you get done with that, Vicky, that's when you'll go into those high pulls. Remember, you can squat down on those burpees and walk your hands out if that's bothering that hamstring or glute. Good job, smart tone. Keep it up. Got it. So on those swings, just a chest height so you can hold the head of the dumbbell if you've got a dumbbell. There you go, Patty Kane. That'll work. 15 on the swings, 15 on the swings. I think everybody's getting pretty darn good at these dumbbell swings. I'm, I'm digging it. Let's keep rocking. So once you get done with that, you're right back to five burpees. Come on, we got it. We got it. You're already halfway. Halfway. This is only going to be as tough as you make it. It's up to you in terms of effort. So you can push the pace as hard as you can go, or you could cruise through this slowly. It really just depends on how you're doing. Oh, Stephanie Adams, you got a nice high box there. Digging it. Keep rocking. It's going to be a good day. You got 10 of those total. Good job, folks. Good job. Let's get one more minute. Oh, Carrie Martone's got a workout partner. What's up, big man? I like your pajama pants. All right, we are past that one-minute mark. If you're doing those plyo step-ups, try to push up off that box a little bit if you can. Chrissy Meadows, I'm digging that step. Keep it up. What's up, Vicky? You're good. internet is slightly behind me 30 seconds left come on now push that pace push that pace you're about to get a one minute rest full minute there you go remember you go five burpees 10 of those steps 15 swings good work dean good work dean keep hopping buddy you got that. Don't stop yet. Keep going. Come on. All right. Rest. Good job. So we got one full minute to rest. Good work, folks. Good work. Just catch your breath. That'll probably be the easiest set of the whole thing. Usually that first set. Sometimes the last set can get easy because you go harder. Well, no, we're not aiming for a certain number of rounds, so I guess that doesn't matter. So once we, we got about 30 seconds. Once you start back, we're going to start back right where you left off. So I think, Stephanie, you were going to the box. So wherever you left off, we got about 20 seconds. We'll be right back into it. So remember, the total circuit is five burpees, 10 plyo box step-ups, or the step-back lunges and then 15 swings. So we are ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Get it going, get it going, get it going. There we go, there we go, keep it up. So if you're swinging or high pulling, it's 15 reps. Good job, Annie, looking good, looking good, keep it up. Good stuff, folks. Already 30 seconds in. Yeah, Patty Kane. All 
Everybody's looking smooth on those burpees. I like those walkouts, Vicky. Keep that up. Good stuff, good stuff, all the way. Let's get it, Adams. Let's get it, Adams. Come on, pop up. That a girl, that's it. Way to rebound off that floor. Good job, Carrie Martone. Good work, good work. That's it. Good looking swings. I'm digging it. Everybody's swings are looking solid. So you are at the halfway point on this set. Keep digging, keep rolling, push that pace. Hard working group this morning. Hard working group. It's good to see everybody on Thursday. You ready, Annie? Swing it up. There it is. Way to pop. Keep rocking, folks. We are at the one minute left. One minute left, Mark. You got this now. You got this. Push the pace. I see that little hot patty. Way to get that pep in your step. That's what we're going for. Solid swings, Christy Meadows. Way to rock, way to rock. All right, got that, Stephanie White. Let's go, let's go. You got 30 seconds left on this set. 30 seconds, keep pushing, folks. Good job, Dean, I can see you, buddy. Keep it up. Come on, come on, keep moving. Keep moving, we got 15 seconds, don't quit. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. You got a Vicky Stowe. Five left. Come on. All right. Rest. We got one full minute. Vicky, those step ups feeling good? Her internet's behind mine. Just rest, folks. Grab some water. Got about 20 seconds left. All right, we are right back into it. Let's go, let's go. Remember, we got the five burpees, 10 box step ups, 15 swings. Oh, it's like that doesn't feel good. Oh, the internet's freezing. Come on now, everybody's looking smooth. You got the hang of it. Ready to go now, ready to go. Keep it up. That's it, that's it. Rolling through a spicy circuit. Got a minute 45 left on this one, minute 45. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Remember we got five burpees, 10 of the box plyo step ups, and then 15 swings. There you go, Stephanie White, you got it. That's it, light on the toes, light on the toes. Keep 
Killing it, folks. Killing it. Come on. Got about one minute left. Keep those swings tight. Tuck that kettlebell up all the way towards that groin. Pop the hips. Past the one minute mark now. Past that one minute mark. So you got about 45 seconds left to work on this set. Let's keep it up. Looking good, looking good. There you go. Got to hang in there. Hang in there, Stephanie. You got it. Solid looking swings, Patty Kane. Keep it up. That's what we were going for right there, Vicky. Usually that squatting motion feels better than a swing does if we're hurting up top of the hamstrings or bottom of the glutes. All right, wrist. Vicky, let me know if any of that doesn't make sense. I saw you kind of shaking it out on the burpee. I know when we lean over and it stretches that area, it can hurt. So that's why I was saying, like, if you need to, we can just do, like, five light jump squats. It's usually the squatting. Is the squatting okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, you could do, like, five light jump squats. All right, let's get ready. We got five seconds instead of those burpees. All right, here we go. We're on set number four. Get it going, get it going. Starting to see some sweat show up on some of y'all's shirts. That's what we're going for. Oh, yeah. Come on now, come on now. Keep it up. Adams, you're looking smooth on those burpees. That's good control all the way down. You got it, Dean. You got it, Dean. Come on, buddy. Keep it up. Bubba, you better start squatting, doing something, big man. Come on. Keep going, Andy. You got this. Let's keep pushing. Keep pushing. Woo, looking good, folks. Got it, Martone. Got it. Three movements is really simple, but it can be tough. It's all up to you how hard we can get you to work here. Looks like this group's ready to work today. Let's keep it up. Come on, come on, come on, keep it up. Oh, gosh, that internet connection is shaky. That's all right. All right, folks, we are right about at that one minute mark on this set. Then you'll get that full one minute break. Come on now, come on now, keep it up, keep it up. You got it. Good pace, Patty Kane, good pace. Got that, Andy. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, Dean. You're ready. Yeah, you got it. Remember, we're on set four. We only got one more after this. Let's go, Dean. You're ready, buddy. 30 seconds. Come on, 30 seconds. Keep it up. Got this, folks. Got this, folks. Let's go now. 15 seconds left on this one. 
10 seconds. Come on now. There you go, Vicky. Looking good. Looking good. And rest. Good job. Rest, rest, rest. Take a break. We got one minute. And after this one minute, we got one more left. Everybody's looking solid on these three movements. So Stephanie White here is at 83 minutes so far. Getting that work in today. What's that? Oh, is it delay? Are you higher than that? Is it delayed? Yeah, it's got an update. I guess it does, you know, because it's by the minute. 15 seconds, folks. Get that water down. Get up. Get moving. Last set. Come on, Thursday's a tough day for a lot of people to work out, but y'all showed up today. We're going to do it right. Let's get set number five. Go, go, go. Wherever you finished up at, pick up right where you left off, and let's get it. Come on. Come on now. Good job, Vicky Stowe. Just keep it smooth. Good work, good work. Yeah, Patty. Burpee's looking smooth. Come on now, come on now, keep it up. Y'all gotta max it out. We're gonna get a full two minute break after this round. So as many rounds as you can, let's crank it up on this last set. You'll get plenty of time to sit around and catch your breath, but right now let's move. Move harder, move faster than you have all the other four sets before this. You got to dig a little bit deeper. Two minutes left. Two minutes. Come on now. And rock out for two minutes. There you go, Kerry Martone. You got it. Just toss him up on your shoulders. Digging those fast jumps, Stephanie Adams. Way to push, girl. Way to push. Keep it up. Ooh, yeah, Vicky Stowe. Got that, Christy Meadows. Keep it up. Come on, come on, come on. Keep pushing. Minute and a half left. You can do pretty much anything for a minute and a half. Let's get it now. Had a girl, Stephanie White, jamming through those plyo box step ups. Good dumbbell swings, Annie. Way to pop the hips coming up. Come on, keep pushing, folks. You got about one minute. One minute, we are maxing this out for one minute. Yeah. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. We got this. Five burpees, 10 box plyo step ups, 15 swings. 30 seconds left now, 30 seconds, come on. 30 seconds is nothing, it's nothing, you can do this. Keep pushing, keep pushing, let's go, pick it up. You can be tired when we're done, 15 seconds. You'll have plenty of time to be tired and rest. Right now, you got to push through that mental barrier and do everything you can for the next five seconds. That's it. Five seconds, pick something and go. Come on. Come on. Keep going. All right. Rest. Good job. Good job. We're going to take a full two minutes to catch your breath, grab some water, and get ready for the next part of the workout. We got some core work we're going to go through. You will need a kettlebell or a dumbbell for this next part, but again, you got plenty of time right now. Absolutely awesome job. Great work. That was 20 minutes worth of work right there. Thursdays can be a tough day sometimes. Thursdays can be a tough day sometimes. Yeah, that's, 
I'll, I'll feel exactly the same way at 8.30. So around three, I'm like, oh, shit. The first time I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So got about one minute. Just hang out. Drink that water. We do have some pull-throughs coming up. So as heavy as I can possibly get you to go on that. Remember, if you use a dumbbell, it'll be laying down on the floor. If you use a kettlebell, we're going to drag it across the floor. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start demonstrating for you. You can keep resting and breathing. First movement we got on this next part is a reverse crunch with a hip lift. So she's going to come down. She's got her knees slightly bent. She's going to come up, lift that butt off the floor, and then try to control it as slowly going down as possible. Um, you, yeah, so generally a reverse crunch, we keep those knees bent just like she is the whole time. You can go straight legs if you want. It doesn't necessarily make your abs work a lot harder. The key is bringing those hips up off the ground and then coming down slowly. Um, so you're going to go – I don't have my reps up there. I'm sorry. I need to fix my slide. Um, we got 10 on that. Then you're going to go through our kettlebell pull-throughs. This is one of the absolute best core exercises that exists in terms of what you get for this. So 10 of those on each arm. So that is 20 total on that. Remember, really resisting that twist. Try not to let those hips shift too much side to side. Then we're going to go into our bird dogs, 10 each side. So this is where the foot does not have to come very high off the ground. We want those toes pointed straight at the ground, and we do a fist with the opposite hand. You can, you can alternate if you want to, or you can go 10 on each side straight. But remember, we're not crunching underneath on that. That doesn't really do much for your abs from this position. Our goal is to keep that spine in a neutral spot. So let's keep the foot below your butt on this as you go through it. Even if your foot's only a couple inches off the ground, that's even better because we can keep your back stable, just like we try to do in a plank. That's what we're doing here. We're just adding movement in. And you're creating as much tension as possible from that fist all the way down to your foot throughout that entire round. So 10 each on that. We're going to get started as soon as I add reps to this right here. Oh, it's not cooperating. There we go. All right, so this is eight minutes. As many times as you can get through that. So some of y'all really jam through this core stuff. Just make sure we're not going so fast to where it's not as effective. Work on slow contractions coming down. Lots of tension on those pull-throughs. All right, let's get going. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we got that reverse crunch with a hip lift. Then you got 10 of those. Love to see everybody get a minimum of three rounds on this in eight minutes. Three rounds. Some of y'all probably get through close to five. Once you get done with those, you're going into your kettlebell pull-throughs. So we get into that tall plank, and you're going to drag that sucker through ten times each side. And remember, you go from left to right. So you're going reaching underneath you and going across your body. There we go. When you do this, put it a you know, move it a little bit away from your body so you've got to do some reaching. We can rotate a little bit on that reach. The goal is just not to let those hips move too much once you pull back. Got it, 10 each side. I know those get tough. I know those shoulders are tired after everything we've done so far. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. You're already over a minute in. 10 each side. Once you're done with that, 10 each side on the bird dogs. That's it. Looking good, folks. Looking good. Everybody's pulling across the body. And then remember, we're going to try to keep that foot nice and low. Most people, if that foot goes above your backside, the lower back is going to arch as a result. And that is exactly what we're trying not to do. So you could literally drag your toes back as, as if you're trying to like donkey kick, not donkey kick, as if you're trying to push a door open with your foot. So keep it low. Keep it low for me, Dean. Don't let that foot go too high. 
I'm seeing that back extend. The arm, there you go. That was much better. That kept your back in a neutral position. Good job, Kerry Martone. That's nice and low on that. Your back's staying consistent. If you're doing 10 straight on one side, you are welcome just to slide that hand under and lightly tap your knee across the body. And we just don't want to crunch when we do that. You're just reaching under. So, again, it's another position that you got to maintain a stable spine through. And you still kind of squeeze and tension in that hand, everything. Perfect, perfect. I see everybody starting to glisten. I think most of y'all have been glistening for a while now. Is it hot in here, Stephanie? It's a little bit warm, isn't it? Hey, I thought about that before we got started. I was like, I'm going to see if she wants to tough it out. Got hot in here yesterday, too. Good looking hip lift, Stephanie Adams. I like that slow pace coming down. That's what we're going for. Time under tension on those abs, controlling. Good job, Patty Kane. Annie, you're looking smooth on that. Remember, we can have our feet a little bit wider than your hips on those pull throughs. If it helps keep you from rocking side to side, just don't want to go crazy wide. We don't want to look like we're at the, in a jumping jack type position or anything. There you go. Ton of tension from the foot all the way through the fist. That's it. You got it. You got it. Everybody's looking smooth. We got a lot better control on these uh, bird dogs this time around, it looks like. I'm not seeing anybody's low backs moving. I do want you to go kind of slow through those if you can and really try to squeeze and hold some tension from foot to fist every single rep. So there should be a noticeable pause when that arm and leg goes out for this to do us some more good rather than just kicking our leg out and coming back down. Man, we're already five minutes into it. Looking good. What round are you on, Stephanie? You going in three? It's a good pace. It's about – Pretty darn close where everybody's at on this one. Good job, Patty Kane. Like that, Christy Meadows. Keep rocking. About two minutes left. Come on now, come on now. Got it, Stephanie. You ready? Minute and a half left. Coming up towards the end of it. You got this. Job, Patty Kane. It's a solid back position. Remember, we'll keep that foot low. I want you to almost try to touch the ground with your toes every time you kick back. 
You ready, Annie? You got it. You got it. We got less than a minute left, folks. So just keep rolling through it. Good stuff now. Good stuff. 30 seconds left. Killing it. Killing it. Almost there. So what we got about 15 seconds. So whatever exercise you're on, let's try to go all the way through that one. And then we're going to stretch and cool down a little bit. So I got Stephanie floating on some ice water. That is the end of the time. So we're going to go right into our stretching once you finish the set that you're on. When you're ready, we're going to start with a cobra. So we'll flip over, let those hips drop on down, and then drive your chest upwards. If your arms are too tired, you can always come down to your elbows on that. And then if you notice, Stephanie was bringing her eyes up and her head up, which will increase that stretch across the front of the body. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So I'm gonna play that, so turn it down a little bit. All right, we're gonna move into a down dog with a heel pump. So shift those uh, hips up and back. And since we did some jumping today, we definitely wanna put a little stretch on those calves. Good job. Got about 15 seconds left on that one. And I'm going to add a stretch to what we're going to do today since we're already in this position. So let's roll into a pigeon stretch, pigeon pose, whatever you want to call it. Bring one leg through and then just lay down and chill. Just relax. Challenge yourself on that stretch, though. If you don't feel that in the hip, work that foot away from your body a little bit. Come on down, relax. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. Go about 10 seconds longer on this side. Clipboard. All right, last one. We're going to our couch stretch. So let's get to that half kneeling stance and then squeeze the cheeks. So you get squeeze those glutes. Should feel a big pull on the front of that back thigh. Big squeeze, big squeeze, big stretch. If you got a couch, use it. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Keep holding, we'll go about 10 seconds longer. Let's 
All right, that is it for today. I got everybody unmuted.